Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Toast, and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video. And guys, today we got some news, and we got some really, really good news. So let's jump into it right now. After Glow Extra Stages, this will be up on Thursday after maintenance, so you guys will be able to farm those crisps in uh, the level that uh, they're dedicated to. So right here, if you want to farm some power Chris, well, just go into the pow uh, the Cave of Crystallis power and you'll be able to farm those little red crystals as much as you want then new raid event and new collaboration with kingdom hearts raid event artless large body this is what we're going to be fighting we're going to be getting some coins and with those coins you'll be able to summon like always but we're getting some really really cool uh recipes and materials for uh rewards to make and uh, one of them is going to be the Sephiroth's Boots, HP 250, MP 100, Attack plus 40, Defense and Magic, and Spirit plus 20. So these boots right here, that accessory right here, is really, really nice. Then, the Dodge Roll, it's a Materia, boost HP and MP by 30%, which is really, really nice. And chance, chance of evading some physical attacks, 20%. So that is a whopping 20% right here. Gumi! what's uh what's up first time ever you well not the first time ever but for a really long time they're giving us something really really good right here and uh the raid boss well should be easy like always but this thing right here is pretty much amazing pretty much amazing so thank you gumi for this then featured summon katie perry ai katie perry i did not see this one but uh yeah if you guys want to spend some lapis you you can get ai katie perry so let's see exactly what they have to say right here about her super trust master reward uh accessory plus 40 magic plus 40 activate life extension every single turn uh basically drive version upgrade boost attack by 40 percent boost equipment when a single weapon is equipped in both ends and boost equipment attack when armed with two wanted weapons cpu version upgrade can equip rods and whips boost magic by 50 percent when equipped with a rod and boost magic by 50 percent when equipped with a whip and security version upgrade can equip light or heavy shield boost spirit by 40% and defense and HP by 20% when equipped with a light shield and boost defense by 40% spirit and HP by 20% when equipped with a heavy shield. Uh, does that mean she could be basically a tank, a physical damage and uh, a magic damage dealer? It's pretty interesting right here. Trust master reward, anti-virus software, defense and spirit plus 30 defense plus 10 percent and spr plus 10 percent nullify all status ailments and activate installation program for self at the start of battle installation program boost resistance to attack defense magic and spirit reduction for caster is that a hundred percent because if that is that is really really good then our featured ability uh sentience sentience whatever seven star uh, boost equipment attack and magic when a single weapon is equipped in both hands physical and magic damage against humans and machine monsters and reduces mp consumption of abilities by 30 percent not bad at all then directive system upgrade one use every five turn boost attack and magic and physical uh and magic damage against humans and machine monsters for caster and damage of certain magic spells for all ally Ooh, pretty nice one use every five turns Directive clone matrix boost damage of certain abilities for all allies units boosted pop star katie immortal flame katie and uh katie lovely katie don't know what to say about this unit but uh can't wait to see the data mine on that because uh, that looks really interesting but the real thing right here that's not the real thing still but uh if you guys missed out on sora and kingdom art cloud well, there's going to be a chance to get them again with the step up. And the step up is a lot cheaper, guys. It's only 20,000 uh, lapis for all of these units. And I got to say, the boy Sora and the boy Kingdom Heart Cloud got uh, some rework on them. So basically, the boy Sora, Heart Slide, boost attack by 70% and boost equipment attack when armed with 2 one hit weapon. Uh, basically, I have the stats right here. Initially, if we go on the wiki... Uh, initially it was 20% so the boost equipment attack when armed with two one and the weapon was 20% and now they're boosting it up to 50% which is pretty amazing and the Kingdom Hearts Keyblade basically is only a Sora that can use it 
uh, enables key, key begotten power, boost fire, ice, lightning, water, and wind, earth, light, and dark resistance by 10%, which is really, really nice. Restore MP every turn and boost equipment attack when armed with two wanted weapon. Basically, this used to be, let me check right here, 10%, and now they're bringing it up to 50%. So that thing is crazy, 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 uh, which is really, really nice. Whoa, I'm going too fast here. Then the global upgrades on uh, Ars Arcanum. Basically, this can chain with uh, Absolute Mirror of Equity. Deal damage and damage. Uh, deal damage and damage that powers up with consecutive uses to one enemy. So that's really, really nice. And Ripple Drive. I think that was the one with... Uh, I have it right here. With Meteor Rain. Basically, used to... Uh, basically, still increase the attack by 130% for four turns to caster. Uh, does that mean that they're going to increase the damage? Or they're just going to boost the attack on the caster. That's really, really nice. And second chance, boost attack and SPR by 20% and escape death one time when HP is above certain points. So this video, guys, we're going to be talking a lot of the units right now. So basically, the Buster Sword for the boy, uh, Kingdom Heart Clouds used to be 180 attack. Now it's 190 attack, which is really, really nice. Uh, also, it's Cross Slash. Cross Slash. It's Cross Slash. Uh, got updated. Damage and chance of paralyzing all enemies. I think it's going to give you a uh, cross slash plus after. If I'm not mistaken, they were talking about it on uh, the video for uh, FFB Global. My eyes are like twitching right now. It's crazy. Uh, basically, cross slash got updated to cross slash plus. And uh, global upgrade splits burst. Deal partial and mitigate damage and gra gradual damage to one enemy and gradually restores on MP. I know he's going to get a move that's going to be, uh, enable him to triple cast, which is going to be insane. And same thing with uh, Kingdom Hearts Sora. Well, Sora. Uh, his combo plus basically used to be a 6 turn to cooldown. And uh, now it's going to be a 5 turn cooldown. And it's going to enable triple command for 4 turns to cast her, which is insane. Insane, insane, insane. But it's beautiful at the same time. Then, the new characters. Now, that's the real deal. Real. Uh, we're going to be able to summon for Riku and uh, Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth right here. So let's see what the step up looks like. So basically, you're going to get those 20% uh, tickets. So basically, you have to do the thing, the step up one full turn, and then the first step of the second step up, basically you get those 5% tickets. And it's going to be a 20% chance to get either Riku or Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth. And it's going to be a 24,000 Lapis run for this beautiful step up. Uh, we're getting some cool stuff. So 9 plus 2 right here, 9 plus 2 right here, 8 plus 2 plus 1 with a guaranteed rainbow in step 3. Uh, that good old 10% blue ticket, 90% blue ticket. I hate this ticket. Hate this ticket. They should change it to maybe a 30% all the time. Or 50%. Yeah, you know what, Gumi? 50%. Make it happen. Then on step 5, you're going to be guaranteed either Riku or Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth. So let's see what we have on uh, Riku right here. He's a physical damage dealer. I need I need to see him a little bit more. Then is Super Trust Master. Hearts Darkness. Boost attack by 70%. Light resistance by 50%. And boost equipment attack when armed with two wanted weapons. Really, really nice. That 70% attack is really beautiful. Soul Heater. That's going to be a Stress Master. Uh, basically, Riku only. It's his Keyblade. Attack 160. Enables Eater of Soul boost light resistance by 25%. Restore MP every turn and boost equipment attack when armed with two wanted weapons. Uh, I think that's 50% right here, if I'm not mistaken. Which, this is going to be beautiful. If it's 50 and 50, that's going to be really, really strong. Featured abilities, Dark Break, damage and reduce dark resistance for one enemy and add dark elemental and physical attack. Dark Faraja or Faraga, deal partial and mitigated damage to one enemy uh, two times, and dual trigger, one use every four turn, reduce defense and boost attack to caster, and enables triple, triple command for four turns. Uh, so this one right here, he reduces defense by 50%, and basically boosts his attack by 250%, which is crazy, and enables triple command, so right here, that's when you start doing a lot of damage. So make sure that you have a physical cover tank, or somebody covering for the boy. Or else he's going to be taking a lot of damage. Then we get Sephiroth. Kingdom Hearts. His Super Trust Master. The Mass Immune. Uh, attack 172. It's a Katana. Two-handed weapon. Which is beautiful. That's what we need. Enables Master Swordsman. Boost attack by 
percent and physical damage against humans if that's 50 percent right here this guy is going to be a killer or this trust master is going to be a killer for humans then trust master rewards sephiroth's long cold kingdom hearts attack 30 it's a uh, close defense and spirit 18 enables clad in darkness sephiroth kingdom hearts only and uh, heroic art so clad, clad of in darkness boosts physical damage against humans sephiroth only so if you guys put that on Sephiroth, he's gonna be even. He's gonna have even more uh, human killer, man eater, should I say? Heroic arts boost HP and attack by 20% when equipped with a katana. So that's really really nice. So right here, if that's 50%, that's 50%. Right here, it's 100% man eater, which is disgusting. Then featured abilities: Octo Slash, Damage and Reduce Slice, and Dark Resistance for one enemy. Ooh, that's really nice. Descend into darkness, damage and reduce dark resistance for one enemy. And add dark element to own physical attack. Thank you. Dark blessing, consume own LB gauge to deal partial and mitigate damage to one enemy. And automatically revive all allies one time. What? Damn, boy. That looks pretty good. All right. Kingdom Hearts Sephiroth. You look pretty good, my boy. Uh, let's go into the notices right here. Because, oh man, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things. Uh, Kitty's limited time quest. So I'm discovering this at the same time as you guys. Uh, introducing a new series of quests that upon completion reward players with a new unit. Lovely Katie. Oh, she's so cute. Complete 10 or more quests. Summon 10 or more units. Use 10 or more, uh, 10 or more limit burst. Send a gift to 10 or more friends. You get one lovely Katie. And uh, let's see what lovely Katie can do. She goes into 7 star. Damn. So, Super Dress Master, she's a healer. Accessory, Golden Earrings. Enables Golden Earrings, boost HP and Spirit by 20%. Boost Spirit when HP falls below a certain point. And boost Equipment Spirit when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. Her Trust Master, a piece of materia. Boundless Love, boost Spirit by 30%. Equipment Spirit when a single weapon is equipped in both hands. And Potency of Healing Items used in battle. Well, guess what? We don't use healing items anymore. We don't use that anymore. Featured abilities, spread the love. Consume one potion, high potion, eater, or turbo eater, and it's ex and it's ex and its effects partially apply to all allies. Ooh. That's interesting. That's pretty interesting. Strong vitality, boost potency, uh potency of healing items used in battle, boost defense and spirit by 20%, and nullifies sleep, silence, confusion, and stone. That's not bad at all. Then Devotion, Loving Embrance, one use every five turn, boost, attack, defense, magic, and spirit for all allies, reduce damage taken, and restore HP and MP for caster, automatically revives caster one time, enables Power of Love. Oh, you know what, uh, she looks really good, the character looks cool, the sprite and everything, but uh, I don't know, I don't think so, I don't think, man, you'll, you'll get it for free, so it's a free unit, whatever, it's a free seven star, why not, right? Kingdom Hearts Calibration, we're going to keep going right here. Uh, we will be holding the Kingdom Hearts Calibration for the global version of FFB around the same time as the Japanese version of the game. As previously mentioned, Sora and Kingdom Hearts Cloud have been updated. Please refer to Sora Cloud featured some in news for more details on the updates. However, the abilities and parameters for Riku and Sephiroth, the units available for this calibration, will differ from that of their Japanese version card counterparts. So yes, Riku actually is limit burst is going to do a 120% dark imperil on a unit, which is crazy. This variance is due to the difference in balance across the two separate versions of the game. Regardless, these two units have been designed to be incredibly helpful in the current state of the global version. Please rest assured that when the global version reaches the current game balance of the Japanese version at a later time, both Riku and Sephiroth will be readjusted accordingly. That's really cool that they're saying that. I really like that. The fact that they're not scared to basically uh, update their characters. Really good. Really good. I'm going to try to finish this because this is going to become a really long video. Then we get a 40 million downloads. Part 2 campaign. Uh, so let's see what they have to say. It's going to start on Friday. Introducing 40 million downloads celebration quest part 2. To celebrate 40 million downloads, completing the quest will award players with rewards such as rare summon tickets, lapis, 40 million downloads. 
raffle tickets and unique equipment it's gonna start on friday Ooh, so that's really really cool the 40 million download raffle tickets allow players to summon lapis from the 40 million download raffle ticket summon with one reward guarantee to be a five star guaranteed ex ticket four star guaranteed ex ticket a three star ex summon ticket golden lightning keys or super trust Ma moogle exchange tickets that's really good that's really really good then 40 million download festive raffle tickets uh, allows player to summon lapis from the 40 million download festive raffle tickets summon with one reward guaranteed to be a five star guaranteed dx ticket so basically the same thing right here which is really really cool uh and also they said that uh china basically the chinese version of the game was released so guess what we might be getting a hundred million downloads really soon because uh yeah there's a lot of people in china and they can play the games a lot so uh log in every day to celebrate 40 million downloads of final fantasy brave exodus and receive amazing rewards the 40 million download raffle tickets allow players to uh to summon lapis with a bonus of either a five star guaranteed ex ticket a four star guaranteed ex ticket a ex summon ticket golden lightning key or super trust exchange ticket rewards as referred for the 40 million dollar campaign okay we get it we get it we get it we get it so this this is beautiful more free stuff i'll take it all the time so day one we're gonna get some more tickets which is gonna go all the way up to day 20. good perfect i love this introducing the five star oh yeah so this is basically the ticket uh you have to go through the step up once and then the step up a second time just the first step of the second step up to basically get four of those tickets and then you're gonna have a 20 percent chance to be guaranteed one of the units that you're summoning for i hate those tickets because 20 percent is really not good it should be at least 50 percent or maybe make it 80 percent because there's two units on the banner make it easy for us there's also the exchange shop on the uh banner for kingdom arts sephiroth and riku which is not loading right now and the same thing there's the exchange shop for uh the kingdom arts sora and cloud uh, kingdom art cloud and sora so basically on that matter you're going to be able to exchange some stuff is this going to load yes this is going to load so basically this is one thing i think that's going to happen in the game thank you for playing final fantasy brave exvius introducing a new collaboration campaign between final fantasy brave exvius and kingdom hearts union x starting from friday the 20th uh this is what's going to happen the number of people participating participating in collaboration quest and specific mission in kingdom arts union x will determine 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 the rewards such as unique collaboration equipment that players can receive in final fantasy brave x so if you guys are playing this game i am not playing this game but if you guys do play this game and you do a lot of missions and you complete the quests and everything we will be rewarded apparently with a 10 plus one summon ticket guaranteed with a five star unit in there which is really really cool but guys man i can't look at this i i just need to go here again just need to go here again because oh man this is beautiful this is beautiful guys actually let's finish with something really cool sorry for uh, this longer video but there's a lot of things to discuss we're gonna finish off can we get a rainbow right here can we get a rainbow right here probably not we're probably just gonna get some four star units but it doesn't matter guys like always thank you so much for watching this video let me know if you're gonna summon like always if you're gonna summon for the units coming out because they look really really good they look really really good uh i'll try my best to maybe get at least sephiroth because he looks amazing he looks amazing amazing so that's what i'm gonna try so guys like always please leave a like down below subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace